Six years ago, mentally, I was in a really dark place. I'd had, by this point, 15 years of alcohol and drug abuse and was unable to function. Three, six, nine, 12 pints, and then heading back to the house to then sit on my own in my room with alcohol and cocaine until it's all gone. The depression and the self-loathing starts and it's just this downhill spiral. At home, in the dark, curtains drawn, just curled up in a ball, crying. Suicidal thoughts were in my mind every day. I realised I had a problem when my mum and dad got involved. They'd driven over to my house for a intervention and suggested residential rehab, understanding that I just couldn't stop. That's when everything changed. My name is Andy Stone and I have set myself the challenge of attempting two Guinness World Records for doing 70, 70.3 mile triathlons in 70 days. A 1.2 mile swim, 56 mile bike ride and then a half marathon and that's every day for 70 days. This project that I've set is ultimately about health and about being able to continue on every day. I'm just about halfway through uh, 35, 35 milers in 35 days, which is Olympic distance triathlons. It's going to be a significant step up and I do need to have more of a team around me. Sally is my other half. She's my partner. She's a gym producer. She works for a big distillery. In her spare time, she's doing all my PR, all my social media, and doing a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. The irony hasn't escaped us that Sally is a gym producer. I'm obviously a recovering alcoholic. We've got a garage full of gin. So every time we go in the office, she's on one side on the laptop. I'm on the other side on the whiteboard, writing down everything that, all my findings, all my results, all the things that I'm taking forward from this event. There is an array of Sally's gins that are literally holding my whiteboard up. We've now decided between us that we can have a go at this project. We're in a position to be able to do this. This is a pretty epic challenge. 70 triathlons of 70.3 miles in 70 days is 5,000 miles, which is effectively the distance from London to China knowing that he, whatever happens, come rain, shine, a bike breaking down, an injury or his muscles are feeling tired, has to carry on to complete that day. There's been times where he's found it really tough and challenging, but he's learning that when those voices come into his head, he has to just get on the bike, get out, push through. My diet's pretty good. I think with a plant-based diet, the science is there now that that's really beneficial provided that you are getting a spectrum of what's required. Being an alcoholic, there's still that voice in my head going, just have a drink, just have a drink, just have a drink. Everything that I've been through has given me the tools and the ability to give it the best shot that I can. Everything that I've put in physically, in the gym, in the pool, on the road, the preparation has been done and I'm feeling really confident. And actually, it could really be the making of him.